10.2. Need to dry this off a little bit better. So flip to page 10.2 or example 10.2. It's on page 331. And it says, give the balanced chemical equation that represents the reaction between HCl and RBOH. We're going to go ahead and take out a few of those words and we'll say write the equation for HCl and RBOH. All right, so we've got HCl plus RBOH yields. Now this is another pretty simple one. So I can kind of visualize in my head that the H is going to come off of here. The OH is going to come off of here. And then I can see that the RB is going to form the salt with the CL. So if you can do it in your head, great. This is a simple one. Let's just do it in our head. So it's going to yield RBCL. And that would be the actual formula for that because RB has a one plus charge and CL has a one minus charge. Okay. And H2O. We'll write it out the right way this time because this is the simple one. And that one is already balanced. So that would be the answer for that. Okay. Now the second example in 10.2 is a little trickier. Write the equation for H2SO4 and NaOH, sodium hydroxide. Okay, first of all, look at H2SO4. This is diprotic, meaning that it has two H plus ions that it's going to be ready to donate, okay? So keep that in mind. All right, the first step is that I'm gonna separate, uh, like the step said, I'm gonna take the H plus off of the acids. So I'm gonna have H plus plus another H plus plus what's left over, SO4 and, now I can tell what this charge had to be because remember, we, when we flip flop the numbers, you can bring the two up here and that would mean that the SO4 has a two negative charge, okay? The SO4, that's the sulfate ion, which is one that you're supposed to be very familiar with. So that should ring a bell. So SO4 two minus is the ion there. And again, you can tell that it has to have a two minus charge because in order to balance this compound out, there had to be two H's. H normally has a one plus charge. Hope that makes sense. If not, you're gonna to have to go back and review how to form um, chemical formulas in ionic compounds back in module eight. Or not ionic compounds, just any compounds. All right, so we've taken the H plus off of the acid. Next step is to take the OH off of the base. So now we've got Na, and again, Na must have a one plus charge because I know that OH has a one minus charge. So we've done that, and now our products. I'm gonna have to draw my arrow under here because I'm starting to run out of room. So our products would be the salt that's formed between the positive ion that came off of the base, which would be Na plus. I'm gonna just write it as an ion first, and then we can figure out the formula. So it's formed between this positive ion and the negative ion that came off of the acid, SO4 two minus. Plus SO4, the two minus charge, that's the salt. And then the second product is always going to be water. We're gonna write it this time as H-O-H. All right, so now 
let's look at this and see what the formula would be for this salt. Okay, we've got the two ions. Remember that we want to drop the charges and flip-flop the numbers. So the two is gonna come over down here and the invisible one is gonna go over here. So the formula for sodium sulfate is Na2SO4, could go in parentheses with the one down here, but I'm just showing you that to explain how you flip up numbers. Remember, we don't actually write the one. So you can get rid of the one, and then you don't even need the parentheses there. So it can just look like this. Na2SO4 would be our salt, and of course, our HOH, our water. All right, now we are ready to rewrite the equation with the compounds back together, okay? So this is gonna come back together as H2SO4 plus, this is gonna come back together, NAOH, yields Na2SO4 and HOH. I feel like we can speak a different language to one another. This is so cool. Well, I think it's so cool, which is why I majored in chemistry. So if you think it's so cool, then you should consider majoring in chemistry. Um, all right, now the next step, we're still not done. Now we need to balance it, okay? So I'm gonna look at my hydrogens separately from my hydroxides, okay? So I've got two hydrogens over here and I only have one hydrogen. Remember, I'm not looking at my hydroxide. I only have one hydrogen out front over here for my water molecule. So that must mean I must need two HOHs, all right? So if I have two HOHs, my hydrogens are fine, and now my now I have two hydroxide ions. So that must mean I must need that must mean I must need two of the compounds that contains hydroxide on the left. Okay, how are we doing? So now we've got two hydrogens, two hydrogens. Two hydroxides, two hydroxides. Two sodiums, oh look at that, two sodiums. One SO4, one SO4. So this stays NaSO4, we don't need any more than one of that. Okay, and that's how I balanced it. So that would be the answer there. All right, let's do another one. There's one more in example 10.2 that we will cover together here. too much Mrs. Myers went <coughs> in my lungs. All right, one more example. Here we go. Write the equation. Write equation. I hope I don't get cut off with my 15 minute time limit from the lovely YouTube. Write equation for HNO3 and AL OH3. So we've got HNO3 and ALOH3. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write this out by splitting apart the H from the acid. This would be the acid and the OH from the base. So I would have H plus plus NO3 must have just been a one minus charge because there's only one hydrogen and a three minus. Plus
plus, now for my base, AL, what charge does aluminum have? All right, well, what do you think this three down here could tell us? The three down here, we can bring up to here, telling us that aluminum has a three plus charge. AL three plus, plus OH, our beloved OH minus. And that would make sense because there was only a little invisible one down here in the aluminum hydroxide formula. AL, invisible one, OH3. So the invisible one can get brought up to here, telling us that OH has a one minus charge. Okay, we've separated hydrogen from the acid. We've separated hydroxide from the base. Now let's talk about or figure out what our salt would be. So yields, the positive ion from the base plus the negative ion from the acid and water. Okay, so I just wrote these out. I forgot my charge here, NO3 minus. I wrote these out as ions. Now we need to figure out what the formula would be for the salt between them, okay? So this would be AL, we bring the invisible one from this side down to here. So there's an invisible one next to the aluminum. Then we're gonna put our NO3 in parentheses, 